Hey y'all, I just wanted to fill you in on one of the other little items there we like to do here at Riverside Country Club, and that is hatch out our chicken eggs. As you can see, we use the uh, little giant styrofoam incubator. It uh, has a capacity of 41 chicken eggs. And ours has, you can see, the automatic egg turner in it. They also come available with a, a fan. You can buy a fan. And those just help distribute the warm air around the eggs inside the incubator. Uh, these incubators here cost about $45. The uh, turner, another $45. And the fan, another 45 So for around $135, you can have the complete set. Uh, the fan, I believe, really helps on your hatch rate. But uh, I sold my other ones, and I just recently bought this one. And I hadn't bought the fan yet, but I probably will be. But our hatch rate is... I'd say a low of 75%, probably all the way to about 93%. I have had a couple hatches that was 100%, but hadn't been very many. And we hatch uh, chicken eggs as well as duck eggs. Uh, one of the things here, we uh, you keep it you keep the temperature at 99.5 is what you want the temperature to be at and as you can see we have uh, different color eggs and everything and that's uh, of course that's because we have we have a few pure bred chickens uh, Rhode Island Reds, Production Reds. We have some Welsomers. They lay a dark egg. And we have a few Americanas. They lay, uh, they lay the tint colored, like the green egg and uh, kind of a pink egg, too. Uh, and then we have just mix of those that I just mentioned. So, to me, the, the mixed breeds seem to lay, lay better, lay more eggs. Uh, but like I said, uh, you try and maintain a 99.5 degrees temperature inside the incubator. You do have water trays in the bottom that you keep full of water. Uh, there's a humidity level where it needs to be. You can buy humidity indicators, gauges, or whatever you want to call them. But uh, I just always keep the trays full. And uh, like I said, that's always worked for us. Uh, it takes 21 days for chicken eggs to hatch. Uh, on the 18th day... We'll take this automatic egg turners out and just lay the eggs on the incubator floor there and that helps uh, give the chicks time to kind of get adjusted to where they're at and uh, that'll help them break when they start breaking out of the shell. Uh, like I said they hatch around around 21 days some will be you know a little early some be late uh, just remember that some chicks just die you know that's just the way it is and you don't necessarily do anything wrong they just not going to make it uh, some of them die in the shell some of them die trying to break out of the shell you can try and help them out. Sometimes that works. 
uh, about 50% of the time it does, 50% it don't, so, but, uh, and then after, after the chicks dry out, you can move them over to a, some type of brooder box, uh, with the light and water and feed, so, uh, we'll keep an eye on this project, uh, in, a, in 10 days, we'll do some candling, I'll show you how we do that. That's just where you check to see if the eggs that you have in your incubator set and see if they're fertile or not, if they're developing. There's a lot of different ways to do that. Uh, people will say you get a lot of fancy equipment, but that right there will work right there, just a flashlight. Just set the egg on top and you can see right through if it's developing or not. Like I said, we'll look at that in a few days. Uh, anyway, I'll get back with you in 10 days and I'll show you about the candling.